your news on the go. A secretary from the Liverpool School District is in critical condition this morning after she and two others were shot yesterday morning in a home in a town of Clay. Those two others have both died, including an Onondaga County Sheriff's Deputy, Isaac Eames. He was found dead in that home on Riverview Road. Also dead, 21-year-old Troy Eames, who succumb to his injuries later at the hospital. The Onondaga County District Attorney and State Attorney General are helping with the investigation. There was a deadly shooting in the city of Rome. 23-year-old Pelly Inarelli is charged with murder from a shooting on Milton Avenue. This happened around noon yesterday when neighbors called police after they heard gunshots. This case is still under investigation. There's an update to an early morning stabbing we were following yesterday on Crowley Street. Police detectives need help finding 35-year-old Calvin McAlpine. A warrant has been issued for his arrest. He's facing charges for stabbing his neighbor, a 29-year-old woman stabbed in the leg near East Fayette Street after the two had a fight. He's accused of forcing himself into her apartment. Bear with us for one more. Another person is dead. This was a crash on Route 5 in Chenango. This happened right in front of the post office yesterday morning. Investigators are not releasing much about the crash just yet, but you can tell in the video it did involve a dump truck. As soon as we hear more information, we'll pass it along to you. The governor says she'll have an update tomorrow about mask rules in businesses, but she feels it's premature to make a call on masks in schools and wants to see vaccine rates between ages 5 and 11 year olds increase before the state changes any guidance. The Onondaga County Executive is asking the state health commissioner for a formal data measure on when to expect schools to be allowed to go without masks for students and staff. Those free N95 masks are coming to Price Shopper and Market 32 stores as soon as today. It's all part of the federal government's distribution effort. Based on the delivery schedule, the masks will be available at staff tables either in the center of the store or in the pharmacy area. As per federal guidelines, each customer will get up to three masks. $375,000 of the city's federal stimulus money has been approved by the Syracuse Common Council for festivals throughout the city, including $125,000, which likely means the return of Jazz Fest. Festival founder and organizer Frank Malfitano says getting this money from the city is a major step in the right direction. It's been almost five years without Jazz Fest, the last one in 2017.